Hello everyone, and my keys dangling on my arm right now. Today we have another fun topic to talk about. So we're gonna be focusing primarily on one type of wedding band, and that's more of like a prong set, um, whether it's a shared prong or a single shared prong. This essentially means that there are not pave diamonds. They're not deeply set into the band um, with four prongs holding them. So this is a little bit of the less traditional style. It's a little bit more unique, very on trend right now, something I particularly love a lot. Okay, I'm gonna start with our Waverly ring as the base. This one has a pair in it. This is about a two carat pair. And that's in the Waverly, which is a halo style. So we'll use that as a base for a couple of these. And then we'll kind of switch it up as we go down the line. I have the Versailles wedding band for us to look at. It's in my pile of rings that I have right now. So the Versailles is really special um, because it has these really beautiful alternating shapes. Um, pull up closer. And then they're set with one prong on each side of the stone. So we have a marquee, a round, and a marquee. So you get like a really beautiful shapeliness from the Versailles. And it pairs really well with so many different style engagement rings. So if we put it on with the Waverly, you'll see it's this really fun difference from the pave that's in the Waverly to the unique style of the band. So it like matches, but also contrasts. It's a really nice comparison. These are also really good for stacking. So um, because you have this unique shape, you kind of notice the different rings, but it like works very nicely together. So take a look at that. And then I have the Marseille, which is also shared prong. This one is all round diamonds. So you definitely get a lot of the round shape here. You can really tell it's like diamond, diamond, diamond. So I'm gonna put that on top so you can see those as a stack. So like, yeah, looks fire, right? So you have the Versailles with the marquee round, marquee round, then the Waverly's Pave band, and then the Marseille. Like such a fun stack. There's also a lot of variations of these two. Um, I like to call rings like the sister rings. It's my own personal term, just because they kind of tie into each other. Um, so there's also the Joel, which is kind of the opposite of the Marseille. It's all marquee diamonds. So put this on this finger. You get marquee, 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 marquee. It looks really, really great if you're looking to create some consistency there. And if you have like an elongated stone, I also think that looks really lovely. So we'll throw this one on top. You can see we just keep on growing the stacks. Really quite lovely. Another reason the Versailles and its sister rings are really popular is because a lot of engagement rings will have prongs that kind of push the wedding band out. It's super normal, um, but if you want to optimize like a flush appearance, something that has natural shape to it will do a very good job of that. So let's say we have the, I think we have a ballad in here, the ballad, which is a pop ring with like an oval. So these, this large oval, it has prongs. It's gonna kind of go out to get to the top of the stone so it can hold it, but those prongs will likely push out the wedding band. So if you do something like the Joelle or the Versailles, because it has this like natural shapeliness, because I can't think of a word that's better, has this natural shape to it, you get a very authentic appearance when you put them together.
So that just like looks so pretty. So something like the Versailles also looks really pretty if you're doing um, like a halo style with a fancy shaped stone. This is the Fortuna with about a say, three carat radiant. And then if you want to do something that's like a little bit fun, we don't want to take away too much from the engagement ring either, especially in something like this. It's really glitzy. You can do something like that. It's really pretty. Looks great from the side view as well. And then I know there's always my friends that like the big diamonds um, in terms of small diamonds, but the big small diamonds. Um, so you can also do, um, we have what we call the Monaco and the Bordeaux bands. Those are very sim similar. They're single prong set, sharing prongs on each side, but the diamonds are a little bit bigger. So if I put this one by itself on my hand, You'll see this does a really good job of being able to see like each individual round diamond. Like you just get a really good, like definitely a diamond band, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, and then if we pop something like the Fortuna on with it, with this radiant, looks really lovely. Just feel like with all of these bands that are prom set like this, they look very intentional, which I know is really popular right now. Um, they're also fabulous for mixing metals. So because you don't, you, because you have so much diamond, you don't really necessarily see the prongs. From afar, definitely not. From up close, yes, there are prongs there. They're supportive, it's important. Um, but it's great for mixing metals. So when people come in and they really, really want to mix metals, sometimes I'll suggest something like this um, because you just like get everything you want in that it looks like so many diamonds. So it can tie in with any other metal type. I hope you guys are understanding my analogy here, but. So it's like, this is rose gold, obviously in this, Hair Luna, but we have this white gold Bordeaux here too. And it just kind of looks like a rose gold ring and then like a bunch of diamonds. So that's a really, really pretty combo. This will also look lovely with the Versailles. Change that. It just depends also on like what thickness you like on your hand. I vary between liking something like really dainty and then something kind of chunky. Um, kind of depends on my mood, but something like this is gonna be a little bit more dainty. You'll get a lot of diamond action there. And then if you want to go more inlaid, you can do the Odette which is very similar to the Versailles from far away. It has a marquee-esque shape, a round -esque shape. They're kind of alternating, but they're more inlaid. So if you want that super, super strong security level, you can do something like that. So it mocks the way. So if you really like also want to tie in, like all, if you really want to have all round diamonds, so it's nice and consistent, but you kind of like the shape, this is our happy. So it's almost hard to see in a video, but these actually aren't marquee diamonds. These are round, round, round. And then we have a prong set marquee. And then if we wanna talk maybe prong set eternity bands, I have this signature Lux Devota with me right now. She is really pretty from the side. You can see it's almost trellis-like all the way around. And then top down, it's very like, much like a traditional eternity band. So 
So if we put this on, and then we do throw on that Lux palette again, this is really fun if you want to do some contrast. I really like doing like a thick band and a thin band. You can also do this with, we could do this with a Versailles engagement ring too. That would be really fun. We have some like shape in the Versailles and a nice chunky diamond paternity band. That no, looks really pretty. I love that combo. If we wanted to keep the Versailles out, I also really like the Versailles with the Yvette, which has a little bit of a contour toward it. So it kind of has a little bit of dip to maybe accommodate for some prongs if you do want to create more of a flush set appearance. So we'll put the Yvette on. And then we'll put the Versailles. My guest has always asked me which hand they're supposed to wear or what, what side they're supposed to wear their wedding band on. And traditionally, it is the inside. So wedding band, then engagement ring. Because the saying is that it is closer to your heart, which is really cute. But there are no rules. You can wear your wedding bands whichever way you want. You can have one band, you can have two bands. You can wear it on a different hand if you want. So I really like this combo because it plays with the shapes, but it puts them in a different format. This is really pretty together. And if you also want to do something with like more fun shapes in it, I really personally like the Olivetta. The Olivetta has pear and round diamonds and they're kind of alternating a little bit. So you can see that here. I'm trying, I'm trying to make it so you can actually see it. So we have pear, round, and they're kind of alternating directions. And that'll look something, that'll look super lovely with like any of these, really. Let's put on maybe a cushion Odessa. This is really good if you want to do something with like a really luxe halo, because it'll protrude out a little bit more. This is probably about four carats. Awesome. And then just as a last kind of tribute, I have a um, trapezoid set engagement ring. The Embrace is very popular. Um, it has trapezoids as well. Um, and because it's nice and low set, I like doing the Lucia with it. This is honestly probably my personal favorite combo at the, this exact moment. It does change daily. Um, but I love the Lucia with the Embrace. I think that looks super luxe. Super pretty. Well, that about covers it. I showed a bunch of different prong set wedding bands. Um, I had fun. If you have any questions, please give us a call, chat us. Um, we can try to get pictures for you if you have a specific combo you want to see together. Um, I personally am a big fan of these um, single prong and shared prong set wedding bands. You definitely can do a lot with them and they're super versatile. Um, so if there's anything you want to see, you should also try using our virtual try on, um, kind of impose it on your hand and get a good idea of what it might look with, um, your, your engagement ring or just alone, just for fun. Awesome. 
Well, thank you guys. Have a nice day. Bye.